Yeah, you all good. You all good. Um. Oh yeah, I'm following you. So do you? Um, so so if you start real small, right? If you start uh -huh. small, start small with what I'm asking. You feel what I'm saying? So for instance, you took you just told me, right? You said um he sent his son or something, right? Right. Okay. Now, my question would be, because I'm I'm gonna ask you where where did you get that from? Like, where did you I learn? Where did you learn to, that from? I would refer to the Bible. Okay. Now let's stop now, there. If you don't believe it. I dig it. But right. But but hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Time, let's 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 move slow. Right. Let's stop there. You you I agree. You got it from the Bible. Right. I agree. Right. Now, my next question would be, why do you care what's in that book? Like, my question is this. Is that the word of a God? Or is that the word of a human that wrote that book? I would say because it's worked for me and nothing else that I've tried or have done outside of that word has worked for me. Okay. It hasn't. It hasn't been a good experience. Like when I wasn't like into the Bible, like mm -hmm. when I, I was like you, like I had stopped for a minute. I was like, you know, I really did stop. I was listening to like Michi X and all this spiritual stuff. And I was like, this ain't working for me though. Like no. Jesus, like at the end of the day, Jesus is what works for me. Now let me go back to my really? question though. I asked you, I get it. You say that you feel like that works for you. I get that. My question was, is that the word of a God or is that the words of a human? I, I, I get what you, I get what you word. said works for you, but that wasn't my question. My question is, did, did, is, given, like before we was even here, like basically like it was spoke through him, spoken from God through him, like to Appointed people, I should say. Okay, now like, let me. Um, okay. Prophets, in now, a way. Now like, let me ask you this: Where did you get that from? What makes you believe that? Reading the word, like I'm actually. Well, okay, reading so you're going the back Bible from front to beginning. Okay. Right now. So now I go back and, to my question again, right? I go back to my question again: Is that the word of a god, or is that the word of a human? Right now, you said you. It is it is human. It okay, is now human. you said that. you believe a God told, you know, spoke these words to a human, right? Right. Now, my question now is, how do you prove that to be a fact? And if you can't prove it to be a fact, why do you believe that? I would say because I lived it. I've experienced No, I've no, you, it. you did not live a God speaking to anybody. You didn't live that. We haven't gotten to I you yet. You, you get what I'm saying? We, no, sis, listen, listen, let's stop. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. We haven't got there yet. We're still at, okay. we're still trying to verify did a God ever say anything to anybody ever in to write a book? That's what we're trying to establish I mean, here. I believe before, I believe like, what, 2,000 years ago? Yes, I do believe that did happen. You believe that, but you can't yes, prove it. You can't prove it, no, though. No, I cannot. So why do but, you believe okay. something you can't prove? Okay, so let me just ask you a question, though. Like, I just want to know, like, from your perspective, like, you know, you can continue to ask me questions, but I just really want to know, like, how do you think we got here? Like, for real? Like, All right. So when I'm asked that question, my answer is, I do not know. And neither do you. You don't either. Nobody knows. But that's never my argument. If you listen to me, creation and existence of a God are two totally different arguments. So if you paid attention when I was um, texting you in the chat, I, was, I gave you an example, right? I was asking you, does a God exist? Does a God exist? Now, you asked me about creation. I can't tell you about creation. So I won't make a claim because you have every right. If I say, for instance, okay, you said, how do we get here, right? Mm -hmm. My answer is, 
There's a forehead, there's a foreheaded pink elephant on Mars. That's how we got here. <laughs> Do you believe that? Uh, no, I don't. What why, why, why not? Let me ask you why not. Let me ask you why not. Why don't you believe that? Because I, I don't, uh, we don't reflect a uh, pink-headed elephant. You don't even know what guy I look like. What do you, how do you, you don't even know what guy looks I like. That, I know that I didn't create myself, though. Like, rather, no, I just rather, told you how you, you were created. Listen, not? listen, listen. I just told you how you were created. A four-headed pink elephant up on Mars created you. Do you believe that? Yes or no? No. Why not? Give me your reasons why you don't believe a four-headed pink elephant on Mars sorry, created you. Oh, still back. Okay, my bad. My bad. Back a little bit more. Okay. All right. I hear what you. I hear where you're going with this, but my question is. But you didn't answer my question, though. Give me your. Give me your reason why you don't believe that, though. God would be the per like whoever created us, like whoever created us would be over charge of us, whether you want to call it. Okay. Whether you want to call it the universe, whether you want, but if he created us, he would be considered God to me. That's what God would be. Let me ask you a question. We didn't, we didn't do this by ourselves. Okay. 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 Follow me here. Follow me here. All right, let's go here, right? First of all, let's let's do this. Religion, would you agree with me that religion is a belief? Uh, yeah, religion is a belief. Religion is but definitely. I have a relationship with God. Okay, that's yeah, I know, I know. That's that's what I, I know, I know, I know, I know. That's that's the that's the new little thing. Uh, I'm not religious. I have a relationship. Yeah, I I I I've heard all of that. Um, okay, so. If you agree with me that religion is a belief, right? So a belief, the definition of a belief is something or a statement that you accept to be true or exist, right? It doesn't make it true because you accept it to be true. That's like me saying, hey, sis, you got four aliens sitting right on your shoulder over there. Now, you can just accept what I just told you without looking to see if it's true what I said. So that would be a belief. Oh, I'm just going to believe what you said. I'm not going to check for any evidence. I'm just going to believe what you said. That would be religion. That's what religion is. So what I'm saying to you is, if you, if you understand and you agree with me that religion is just a belief, it's no facts, no evidence to back up your belief. <laughs> like, why do you believe that, right? But it is, though, in a sense. Like, I hear what you're saying, but, okay, what did it say in the Bible? God created the heavens and the earth. God yeah. created this, that, the sun, the moon. But that's not true, sis. That's not true. The four-headed the four pink e elephant on Mars created the sun and the earth and the moon and all of that stuff. Hey, if that's what God looked like, then no, no, I'm hey, telling you, I'm telling you, but, but I'm asking you, why don't you believe that when I tell you that? Uh, what makes uh, you I'm not, not even saying I don't believe that. If, if you think that God is, no, 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 no. I'm asking you, <laughs> do you believe that? That's what I believe. I'm asking you, why don't you believe that when I tell you that? I don't know what God looks like. So I know I don't you know, don't. I know you don't. I can't really answer that the way you want me to answer it because maybe he is a pink elephant. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. So I'm, I'm saying, right? This, I'm so sorry, the point I'm making. Yeah, I got the code right here. Yes, sir. I did. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, but. So the point I'm trying to make to you, sis, is this, right? When it comes to believers, right, you only believe that. You only believe that because that book told you to believe that. 
That's the only reason you believe that. That's where you got that from. You forgot about my experience. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. No, we're no. We haven't gotten to your experience yet, sis. We are stuck. We are stuck on. Is this the word of a god, or did humans write this? We're stuck there. Like we haven't even gotten to your experience and stuff. We're trying to establish. Did a god ever tell anybody to write this? There's no proof that a god ever told a human to write anything in that book ever. Right. I'm ever. gonna give you that. I'm gonna right? give you that. So now, I agree when I you, talk to believers, still, when yeah. I talk when I talk to believers, that's if you can't take me past that point, right? How can I believe anything else? Because I told you religion is a belief. It's a belief. There's no facts, no evidence, no proof, nothing. Somebody's just telling you. Somebody's telling you what to believe. You get what I'm saying? So when I talk to pastors and, and I talk to bishops and all of them, they can't get past that point with me. But I let them go on, right? Now, I told you, you're, I told you that there's a four-headed pink elephant on Mars that is the creator. Everything you read in that book, it's really a four-headed pink elephant on Mars. It's not the guy that you picture in your head, right? Now, I asked you, do you believe that, right? I asked my dad the same thing. I asked my dad the same thing. Do you believe that, dad? He's like, no. <laughs> I said, well, why? He said, well, I don't have no reason to believe that there's a pink four-headed alien on Mars. I said, yeah, and you expect me to believe your God, though. You know what I'm saying? He wants me to accept his guy with no proof, no evidence, but he don't want to accept my pink elephant with no elephant with no evidence. You see what I'm saying? Now, this is the thing. Follow me here. I don't feel the evidence part though. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Follow follow me here. I feel like you keep going over the evidence part. There is evidence. No, 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 no. There's no evidence that a God ever told anybody to write anything ever. Ever. Saying, There's no evidence of that. Show me the evidence. Where can I find this evidence I at? I feel like the... Okay, you read about the writing the book. I got you on All that All right, part, so, so that means there's no world. evidence of this. Why do you believe that, dude? Why do you believe a God told... It's anything you're reading out of that book, what makes you think a God told somebody to write that? Let me ask you this. Be, have you ever read? Have you read that whole book? Why couldn't it be like a history book? Like how we get history books in school? How come you can't see as far as like what if at the time they all wrote their stories out like that? Okay, right. So that would be. So if it was a if it was a history book, right? We would be able to. It would be documentation, right? It would be, we would be able to cross-reference. Right, you could have got that quicker than me. Okay, I'm sorry. What'd you say? If this was history, right, we would be able to cross-reference this book, these claims in this book. Somebody else would have wrote about this. That we would be able to check with other journalists, other people in time who wrote, you know, who was a part of this. We would be able to track down people in reality, who was a part of history. There's nobody you can track back to this Bible. None of those characters in that book, you cannot track. There's there's no grave for any of them. No grave for any of those people. Thank you. You can't even prove to me that anybody in that book ever existed in real life. Why do you believe that then? Who can you prove from that Bible existed in real life? That we can track back to their families. There's a bloodline. Who, who? Give me one character from the book. Okay. Can you track back? Oh, uh, yeah. Can you track anybody who was ever, whose grandma ever been a slave? Sure. There's, 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 there's genealogy. There's genealogy. There's grave sites. There's bloodlines. There's family. There's there's bloodlines. They have descendants. Sure, yes. Yes. That's the purpose of genealogy. Genealogy will take you back into ancestry. Give, show me somebody who's attached to, to Mary, Joseph. Uh, who else in that book? Ezekiel. Give me somebody. I mean, that was 
thousands of years ago. How okay, it? so watch this. You can, there's mummies. There's mummies back in Africa in tombs and stuff that you can track back centuries and centuries and centuries and centuries ago around the time this Bible was made. Why can't we find nobody from this Bible? There's mummies. There's You can actually go into the tombs and stuff that's older than this Bible. Why can't we find nobody I from will the say Bible? This. I will say this. You have a point, and I absolutely I feel what you're saying, and I agree with what you're saying to a certain extent. But I'm going to keep going back to my experience. Like, All right, let's go to your experience, right? Watch this. Watch this. Tell me about your experience. What's the, I've what's, shown that what's, to be evident in my life. Whenever I pray to Jesus, whenever I call on Jesus, like he show up. Like all right. whenever I need Jesus, if I've been, I've always been in a car accident. I didn't call on Jesus. I didn't almost got tickets. I didn't had so many things happen to me. Um, every time I pray, like it, it's now watch this. He protects me. I feel like he protects me. Now watch this. Now watch this. That's your personal experience, right? And you think. It was Jesus that brought you out of that, right? Now, guess I what? Now, guess what? There's a Muslim who went through the same thing that you went through, had a personal experience, and they think Allah brought them through. There's a Jehovah Witness somewhere that went through the same thing you went through that think Jehovah brought them through. I'm an atheist. I've been shot. I almost overdosed. I done came through all of that, and I don't even believe in a God, and I came through. So what God brought me through, and how do you prove that their gods didn't bring you through, and how did you prove that your God didn't bring them through? Everybody everybody has a personal experience, sis. Everybody has some kind of personal experience, and everybody believes that it's their God that brought them through, but they can't prove but Why is Jesus most hated, though? Like, why... Why would he be most hated? Because Jesus is if the they, most popular. He's the most popular religion. He's the biggest religion. Watch this. Okay, sis. so hate on Allah. Hate on No, no, we oh no, I do. I, no, no, I hate on all that shit. I hate on all that shit, sis. The the fact is, the reason is this, sis. The reason I hate on all that shit is this. Because I was a kid who was forced to believe in this Jesus guy. Oh, wait a minute. Let me let me rewind. Let me rewind. Let's go back to your personal experience, right? Now let me ask you this. You had a personal experience and you seem to have this good because you told me you have a relationship with Jesus. This is what everybody say. They got they say they got a relationship with Jesus. Right now, this I find this is where this is where I have a problem. Right. Everybody that tells me they have a relationship with Jesus. Right. Or their God. Right. When I say right. when I ask them, what makes you more important than the rest of the world? That this God or this Jesus decides to show up for you personally, but he never shows up for the whole world as a whole. Like, never, never. But people always got a testimony about their personal. He showed up for them personally. But when we want to pray for the whole world, that's a whole coronavirus out here killing people every day, every day. And there's people praying. For this coronavirus to go away. And you mean to tell me none of these gods in over 4,200 different religions practiced on this planet? You mean to tell me none of these gods, all this praying people do, none of these gods have came to get rid of this shit? But but they I mean, but he shows already, up. It was, it was already written. In, not, I don't, I'm not going to say this virus was written, but it was already written in revelations basically we live in a revelations like it was already written that something was going to happen like like this similar to this listen to listen you do realize nothing is new under the sun right you do realize this has happened before right so the bible ain't no prophecy baby it's, it's just telling you history repeats itself Remember in the Bible, the plague, when everybody was putting the cross over the, <laughs> putting the cross over the top of doors and shit because of the plague and shit? This ain't yeah, the first time yeah. this shit happened, baby. There's been viruses and all of this shit. This shit has happened over and over and over in history. It's going to happen again after we're gone. It's going to happen again after our kids is gone. It's history. Nothing's new under the sun. It's not prophecy. <laughs> it's not prophecy. I definitely feel what you're saying, but at the end of the day, I just, I believe, like, I read, no, I, read I, understand. The Bible, I read Revelations, like, I'm going to still believe, but. I understand. Now, let me ask you this. So, you don't believe, you don't see the, 
Like, I mean, I guess, well, you, you know the Bible. You said you grew up in a church. So these signs are definitely lining up with, you might not believe in the rapture, but I do. Like, I believe that there's going to be a, a huge earthquake all over the world. Like, I really truly believe that. We've been, like, having, we've been having earthquakes forever. We've been having earthquakes forever. I'm talking earthquakes. about a worldwide earthquake. But listen, like, listen, listen. Places. You, listen, do you hear what you're saying, though? Do you hear what you keep saying to me? I believe. I believe. I'm, just, I'm saying that because you don't believe. That's but why I'm let saying Let me ask like you. That. Let me ask you this. If you never read that book, if you never ran across that book, would you believe that shit still? Probably not. Because you wouldn't even know that book even said that. Somebody wrote that in a book <laughs> and told you to believe that shit. You get what I'm saying? Somebody, somebody wrote it in a book and told you to believe it with no evidence to back up what they're saying. Nothing is new under the sun, sis, is all I'm trying to tell you. History repeats itself. Now, my question is, again, who told this human to write that shit? Because I can't prove that a God ever spoke to anybody ever in reality. I can't prove that. So why would I believe that? Now, my question would be this. If you believe this book, right? Do you believe Dorothy clicked yeah. her heels three times and went back to Kansas? <laughs> so the same way you believe this book? No, no, no. Real shit, right? Because the Bible says Jesus walked on water, right? Yeah. Do, do you believe that? Yeah. All right. So now I'm going to ask you this. Do you believe that Dorothy clicked her heels three times and said, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. And her and Toto magically <laughs> went back to Kansas. Do you nah, believe that the same way you believe? Book. That's a fictional book, though. Listen, your Bible is we a fictional. Got fictional your, we got fictional. We got non-fictional. Listen, your Bible, sits in the, your Bible sits next to the Wizard of Oz in the library. It doesn't sit in anybody's reference section. It doesn't sit in anybody's uh, um, um, history section. It doesn't. You can go to any bookstore. The Bible sits in a religious section or it's going to sit right next to the Wizard of Oz and Dorothy clicking her heels three times. Why is it? Why? If this is historical, why does it not sit in anybody's reference section or history section? Now, my question again is. You can't prove okay, Je you can't you. prove well, Jesus walked on this. water. Let me ask you this then. Mm hmm. So what happens to murderers and rapists? You think they just, when they die, you think they just go on to another life? Or what do you think happens to them? Like, you think they don't get punished for what they did? Like, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, clearly you don't believe in a heaven or a hell, but right. what do you think happens? Like, now, this is what I'm going to tell you. Same way with creation, right? I don't know. And neither do you. But now, if you want to, if you want to know what I'm leaning more towards, I'm okay. probably leaning more towards reincarnation. I don't believe in that, though. I can't, but I can't prove it. I can't prove it. This, that's why I don't speak on it. That's why right. I don't. I don't speak on it because I can't prove but it. Right? Something happens to your soul when you die. So like, this is what I'm kind of thinking, right? This is kind of what I'm believing. Because I'm watching, right? Okay, so we're told that this God is an all-loving God, right? Yeah. That's what we were taught, right? We were, This is what this book tells us and all of this, right? Now, this is why I'm leaning more towards reincarnation. I just look at starving babies. I look at, um, I look at uh, amputees deformed children, children in pain in hospitals, you know, and I just said, damn, what, what fucking sin did these babies commit that this God created them this way? Why? Like, why is this God watching these babies starve like this? Yeah, I heard you say that before. Why is children, why is this God watching children 
be molested and touched and hurt and harmed and he's doing nothing about it. Like, so this is what came to me one day. I said, man, wait a minute. What if those aren't even children? Now, in our eyes, they look like children, right? So, so, right. so we're to look at these, we're, so, our emotions are, are right, correct on how we um, believe, right? Because we have a heart. We have right. a heart for children, right? But if we look at it on another right. realm, right? What if these children were here in a past life and they were fucked up as people? What if these children are starving were bad people and they had to come back through here again and pay for their wrongdoings? You see what I'm saying? What if these children that's being molested and raped, what if they were here in a past life and what if they were rapists and raping children and hurting children and stuff and they had to come back as children and they had to endure the pain that they endure, that they put on other people in a past life? I don't speak on this because I can't prove it. But then they would go back to what I'm saying, though. Like, what, which part? It would in go a way, like, they would go back to what I'm saying. Like, which part? There is a creator. Like, there's a... Are you denying that there's somebody who created us? I know you said you don't know, but, like... Yeah, I don't know what created us. I don't know who created okay created so 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 what 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 about a creator what 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 is it about the creator that proves that a god okay. exists so if you believe in reincarnation to a certain extent like we 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 weren't like i said before like we weren't created from monkeys we weren't created from a just big bang like we wasn't created from none of that we was i don't know who created us like i refer to it as god like so what what, what does that have to do with a god's to existence god. even though you're created what because does that have to being, do with if Does, you go back to saying like uh like you just said like you believe in reincarnation if well no 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 I, i'm saying life, i'm like, i it's a possibility yeah i know you this, didn't say it i'm like not that, saying right? i believe in it i'm just saying you that could be a possibility one of your theories it's just basically. a possibility i can't rule out right now i can't rule it out but it's 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 like it's, it is a possibility but i can't rule it out right, right? so i you know I can't, I don't speak on it like that. I mean, I say it to myself and shit. Yeah, I, mean, I, know, I know exactly what you're saying. You're not saying you 100% sure. But, but now, so now what, saying, what does a creator have to do with a God existence, though? Because if you did something messed up and you had to come back in in a you know, messed up way, basically, like oh. you said. Okay, so I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't go. Okay, let, so let me go into deeper. Let me go into deeper, right? So I don't believe in a God or any gods. What I do believe in is a higher self, a higher consciousness, a lower consciousness. That's what I believe in. I believe we have a higher consciousness and we have a lower self. We have a lower consciousness. When you moving in, when you doing fuck shit and, and bad shit, you moving in your lower self. When you're gaining knowledge and you're moving to next levels, I believe you're moving into your higher self. Every level you move up to, I believe you have a higher self, a higher you that's waiting for you to wake up. That's waiting for you. To, for instance, when I woke up from religion, right, there was a higher me saying, hey, man, you're not going to look into that shit. You're not going to ask questions about that shit. Like this is my higher self talking to my then self saying, so you're not going to I'm putting this shit right in your face and you're not going to question this shit. You're not going to question these preachers. You're not going to question for the truth. You're not going to challenge anything. You just going to, okay, I'll come back later when you're ready to go to the next level. Once you wake up to that, I'll bring you up to the next level. Now, once I woke up to all of this stuff, I started asking questions. I went up to my next higher self. But guess what? There's another higher self over that higher self is what I feel. Because I can, I mean, I I know I have a higher consciousness. I I have a righteous side of me. I have a, you know, I have a street side of me. I have a dirty side of me if I have to. So when I say, I feel like your higher self judges you every day. You know how the Bible says you have to go see God and you'll stand there and be judged. I believe your higher self, when you, when you leave here, you're going to meet your higher self. And that motherfucker is going to say, yeah, why you didn't clean that up? Why you didn't straighten your hand up right there? I'm going to have to send you back through here again for you to go clean that up. 
You know what I'm saying? And when you do that, then I'll bring you to the next level. Let, let me tell you what I think religion is here for. I think religion is here purposely, right? Let me tell you what I think. I think religion is here to expose all of the dirty snakes and fucked up ass people in this world. And I also think it's here to expose people who don't fully use their brain to realize that this shit is here is created to control the masses. It was created. This shit was created. The Jesus story. Jesus is the baby of all these God stories. This same story has been told way long, 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 long in African history and other religions. And uh, this same story or similar has been told. Jesus is the baby of all of these stories. Like he's the baby. This shit was created. A human created this shit. Listen, this is what I'm trying to show you. I can prove that a human wrote that book. I can't prove that a guy ever told anybody to write anything. Just think about this. Let me give you something to think about, right? Let's take this guy, uh -huh. right? This is this is where I tell believers, y'all don't give y'all God enough credit, right? Y'all, in one breath, y'all tell us this God is so intelligent, right? And he's so smart. But then in the next breath, y'all dumb y'all God down to being like very dumb. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to show you why, right? So let's look at this universe, right? Let's look at this. Let's go along with your God, right? Let's. I'm going to play along with you. This God exists, right? And this God, look at this intelligently designed universe. Look at it. It's fucking amazing, right? Look at the grass. Look at nature. Look at the water. Look at, look at your body. Look at how intelligently designed your body is, right? Uh -huh. Now, that would be a brilliant as God, right? To do all of this thing, right? A whole universe, a whole maybe four or five different universes, right? That would be an intelligent God, right? So then you tell me that this important word of this God that's going to save everybody's life, this God decides to put it in a book. A book. <laughs> I mean, a book. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Not even just a book, but a, a, a limited edition book that everybody ain't get. Wait a minute, not only that, you mean a limited edition book and a book that he knows people are going to tamper with and change and manipulate and use to manipulate and do bad things? with? Wait a minute, you mean this guy told somebody to write this shit in a book? He went from being intelligent as fuck to do all this intelligent design universe in our bodies and nature and woo, woo and then this important word appears he told somebody just let that shit sink in he told somebody some human who makes mistakes to write his word in a book a book a book a book that can be tampered with a book that has been tampered with a book that people have put in what they wanted to put in and take out what they wanted to take out. Why didn't this guy protect his word? Why wouldn't this guy? Don't but you think, have you don't, ever thought about it like this? Like, okay. Free will. Really, you don't believe in the devil. Not at but all. what if the truth had to be put out there? Like basically like what if that's law? Like, what do you mean? It had to be put out like saying, what can I use for example? Like, okay, let's say, let's say, like, you know, like in the news and the media, like, so let's use 9 11 for example. Like, okay. we all know that was plotted, basically. Like, but most of the world believes that, you know, that was like a true terrorist attack type thing. You know what I mean? Like, you follow what I'm saying? Okay. So, us being like just, you know, truthers or thinkers or whatever, mm -hmm. we research that stuff. We right. we know what really went on. Like, right. what if what if that's how God versus the devil is? What if the devil had to, or not even, let's not even say the devil, let's just say, what if it's lost and had the truth in front of you? Okay. Right. And, to and, to know, have the truth in front of you and you figure it out? Uh, I don't 
they figure it out, but you gotta seek, you know, you gotta, you gotta seek the truth, like, you gotta study, like, this is, I feel like this is, okay, let, let me, let me show you this. Like, Let's take, let's, okay. So let's go back to this intelligently, this guide, creator, our creator, right? He created us with this intelligently designed brain, right? You follow me? All right. Tell me what tools come with your brain. Just, just throw some out there. What tools come with helping operate your brain? We got what? We, we have what? Thoughts, right? Common sense, maybe. A little, yeah. li- a little logic, right? Maybe. Mm-hmm. You know, a little reasoning, maybe. You know, that come with this brain of that is so intelligently designed. A little, maybe a little problem solving. This guy threw in there on this brain, right? right. You know, you know these things. These things would be attached to this brain to help us figure out things. So, but but this guy also threw in belief, right? Okay. You know, so so we got tools, right, that come attached with this brain that this God created you with. Why would this God give you all of these tools for you not to use them? Why would this God give you a intelligently designed brain with all of these tools, problem solving, reasoning, logic, common sense, um, I, yeah, and believe, right? For you to just simply believe and not Use common sense, not use logic, not, not let make things, use the things to problem solve, to figure things out. Why would this God just give you this intelligently designed brain to just believe? He could have left the rest of them tools out if you're just going to believe with nothing to back it up. No evidence. Don't that, like, you see what I mean? Like, how you, how we, how we in one breath, we make our God sound so intelligent, but then he gives you the tools to figure things out and you don't, you choose not to use them. You choose to just believe. I'm just going to believe. I don't want to problem solve anything. I don't want to figure anything out. I'm just going to believe. I'm going to have faith. And God is sitting, and God is sitting here like, nigga. I put the shit in your face, nigga. Like the truth is in your face, but you're just ignoring it because you're just going to use the belief. I could have kept the rest of them tools, and yeah, you know I mean, like, it's it's what I'm saying, right? Like, why would this? I feel, I feel what you're saying. Like, I ain't gonna say I'm. I'm gonna sit here and act like I know all the answers. I don't. Watch this. Like how you say you don't know. I don't know. Let either. me show you something. Oh yeah, and let me explain that. I don't know, right? And I have to explain this to believers. Just because I say I don't know, it doesn't make your belief with no proof any more right. Because you can't prove it. Yeah, I never said that. No, 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 no. I have to tell believers that, though, because they think, because see, you don't know how we were created, and you don't either. You just believe yeah, some shit. Yeah, I ain't shit. even saying it like that. No, 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 like, sis, no, no, I'm not, no, I'm not talking about you. Remember, yeah, remember, I told you, I'm no rookie to this conversation. I've heard all of y'all arguments. I heard the whole, I'm not religious. I'm, a, it's a relationship. I heard all of, I've heard all the, oh, you can't see air, but you, but you believe you breathe in air. I, I've heard all the argument. You can't see love. You can't see this. And you will, I've heard it all, all of it. I got to an answer for all that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm no rookie to this conversation. I just try to get people to open your eyes. Like, why do you believe what you believe with no evidence? I asked you, did Jesus walk on water for real? You believe that? You told me yes. Now, I asked you, what do you believe? Dorothy clicked her heels three times and went back to Kansas. You don't believe that, though. You can't prove that Jesus ever well, walked on water. Okay, but you can't prove. No, let me show you something. Okay, you can't prove that Jesus ever walked on water, right? And you can't prove that Dorothy ever clicked her heels three times and went back, magically went back to Kansas. Why do you believe one over the other? You can't prove either one of them, but you believe one because somebody told you to believe that. Somebody told you, somebody, some human wrote that shit in a book and told you to believe that shit. And you believe it. So it's like this, either way it goes to a certain extent. Like, 
even which what you believe, like you atheists, like you don't believe in nothing. Like you just Well no, 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 no. Hate. This is the thing. When it comes to me, I teach my children, hey you if you're gonna believe in anything, if you're going to believe in anything, you believe in you. You believe in what you make happen. You believe in what you can do for the world, how you can help the world. Listen, I don't need no religion. I don't need no religion. I don't have no relationship with no God or gods. And I'm a very productive person in this universe. I help people. I love people. People love me for the help I do. I, like I'm in my community, all of that. I don't need no God to do that. While the same people that love their God is fucking over people in the church and God is doing nothing about it. He's doing nothing. This is weird. This is kind of weird, God. It's kind of weird, God. Now I'm gonna ask you this. I mean, I believe that. Come on with the free, come on with like, the free will. Come on with the free will. I believe like some, like some time had to pass. Like, I, don't, I mean, I don't. I'm not gonna sit here and try to the Bible, but like, right. Like and, some and, time and, had X amount of time has to pass before he even come back. You know what I mean? That's what I believe. Like. Yeah, I know that's being said. That's shit, that shit being said long generations and generations and generations and generations and generations before I got here that he's soon to come. You know, the definition of soon to come or soon is the near future. Somebody's lying here. Who's lying? No, no, no. Generations ago, they shouldn't have been saying that. Like, I agree with that. Like, no, this is the time for real. Like, I know. That's what, no, no, listen. That's what they were saying. That's what our grandmothers were saying, too. This is a virus this big to take over the world. Like, listen, this is the same shit our parents, our grandparents are saying. Yo, this is the last days. And guess what? Their grandparents are saying the same thing. This is the last days. Jesus is soon to come. Yeah. They were saying, they've been saying the same shit. Remember, I told you a human wrote that book and told you to believe this shit. I told you nothing I, I, is new under the sun. Nothing is new under the sun. History repeats itself. Let me ask you this. Now you said you haven't read that whole Bible. I mean, I read like throughout my life. Yeah, I done, I yeah. Not, like front to back. I done read. Baby, listen. Let me tell but you. I didn't grow up, you I grew might want to read church, that. So you know, like, you really might want to read that book. You really, I am really. Reading the book. No, I'm, listen. I'm Right guess now. guess what you're gonna figure out? People. You want to know what you're gonna figure out in that book? That God what? and the devil is the same person. Okay, so you just acknowledge the devil? Oh no, no, I don't so believe in no, no, no. Listen, li no, no, no. Listen, I don't believe in that shit. I'm just telling you what that uh, book. If you read that book, what you're going to realize that God in that book and the devil. Yeah, I didn't already read some stuff that I'd be like, dang, like people was getting uh, all types of stuff be happening. People was getting raped. Like, ask yourself this: all type of stuff. So you can, you, I mean, you 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 cool with a book that condone that shit? You know this, you know this that Bible. Man, listen, you know this Bible condones slavery, right? This Bible condones. Yeah. This Bible condones incest. I was showing my coworker all of this shit last yeah. night. This Bible condones incest, right? This Bible condones right. pedophilia. Yeah, yeah, it does. This Bible condones homosexuality. Well, let me show you this. Let me tell you this, right? It don't condone it. Oh, no, 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 baby. I, I will show you. I, but boy, I'm, I'm going to show you these Bible verses. That's why I asked you, have you read this book? Like, that's the problem. A lot of people who claim they follow this God and this religion have not read that book. When you read that book, you're going to find a lot of bullshit in that book. This God of this book is a motherfucker. He's evil as fuck. This God. He didn't do it though. Like, he was telling the people though. Like, no, listen, he listen. Was telling the people not to listen, be doing all that stuff. What I'm telling you is this. Okay. I'm, this is what I'm going to tell you. There's no way you can follow this book and make it into a place called heaven at all. You want to know why? Because this book is full of contradictions. It's full of contradictions. Let me show you. Let me show you. The same book that tells you not to kill, thou shalt not kill, it also tells you to kill. How do you make it into heaven? How do you get into heaven? You're standing before God to be judged, right? And, and, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 no. I'm going to show you. You're standing before God to be judged, right? 
And God says, thou shall not kill. Did you not kill? And you say, yes, Lord, I didn't kill a person. I lived my life and I didn't kill a person. But then God, it says, did you kill any homosexuals? Did you kill any atheists? Did you kill, kill any blasphemous? And you're going to say, no, God, I didn't. Well, you can't make it into heaven because 99 and a half just won't do, sis. Right? Because the Bible, the same Bible that tells you thou shall not kill also tells you no man shall lie with another man as he lays with a woman. It's detestable. Hold on, hold on. It's detestable. And they should be stoned to death. Their blood, their blood will be on their own hands. That's what that book says. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. That book also says anyone who blasphemes the name of the Lord shall be put to death. Yeah. True. Yeah. Same book that tells you thou shalt not. How do you get into heaven, sis? That's not contradicting though. Yes, it I is. Mean, listen, listen. He wrong. told you thou shalt not kill. But then he tells you to go kill gay people. He is because of sin. It's make, make it make sense, sis. It's One breath, sin. he tells like, you don't kill, that's why sis. It's okay to go ahead and kill it. No, like. no, sis. No, no, sis. He said it says, "Thou shall not kill." I can pull up the Bible verse. It doesn't and say. It doesn't say old, nothing about no old sin, old sis. Is that in the New Testament or the Old Testament? It doesn't matter. It. it what does it matter? What do, come on, let's like wait a minute. Let's go. Let's go. Why you ask that? Because I love when y'all do that. When y'all say, "Oh, that was the Old Testament." What you, that, is that I'm where saying, you want to go? Is that where you want to go? I'm saying the Old Testament is before Jesus, right? Like that's before. What does Jesus that matter, came into sis? The world to die for our sins. All right, so what? So so you telling me when Jesus come, all that changes? He tell, died for tell, our sins. Hold like, on, was, tell me he what was, he came. Wait a minute, tell me what all changes from the Old Testament when he comes, when Jesus comes? Because we got a problem here, God, sis. We first it was only God and. And his, um, I don't know what you want to call it, like Moses, he was speaking to Moses. He had certain people he was speaking to. Mm -hmm. And then Come on. Jesus actually came. He sent Jesus. And, and all God. that change is what you're telling me. To me, that's God in human form. I'm asking you. So he, does all that change when Jesus get here? Because we got a problem here if it does. I'm not saying it changes. But <laughs> Come on now. People didn't necessarily. <laughs> Come on now. How can I put it? So, so they didn't have no, they didn't, it wasn't no sacrifice made, like sis, to be forgiven. Or sis, repent. you got to make this make sense to me now. You got to see, see how y'all, see how y'all start making up shit. Like, listen, <laughs> listen, I'm trying to get an understanding here. I'm trying to get an understanding. Remember, I told you I done heard all these arguments, right? That was the, that was the Old Testament. Now I got to ask you, what changes when Jesus get here? What changes from the Old Testament that don't that don't happen no more? Because we got a problem. We got a problem if, if I, things change. I, I ain't going to even sit here and lie because I haven't even gotten Because I'm I'm this, like, like, this is what I'm going to tell you, right? This is what I'm going to tell you. I'm not going to try to make up stuff. I'm not going to try to right, make up stuff. Right, like, right. So this is the thing, sis. Like, I, I still believe. Listen, this is the thing, sis. This is the thing. When y'all tell us, oh, that was the Old Testament, right? When Jesus came, things changed. You got to tell me what things changed. What things changed. And you got to show me this in your scriptures that these things change, right? Because if we're going to say those were old laws and those changed, right? You got to remember your creation story is in the Old Testament too. So that means that had to change too. You're not only your creation story, but your Ten Commandments is in the Old Testament too. That means those have to change too. Like, so, so how we do this here? Did it change or did it not change? When Jesus came, you see what I'm saying? You see how this don't work out? Now, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Um, the Bible also tells you the same Bible. Now, remember, you're trying to get into heaven, right? And, and you're standing before God to be judged, right? Now, the Bible, the same Bible that tells you to honor thy mother and thy father, right? You heard that before, right? They preach that in the church, right? Right. All right. That same Bible that tells you to honor thy mother and thy father, guess what it also tells you? It also tells you to hate your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, right? Um, your, your, your children, and yes, even yourself. Or you cannot be a disciple, or you cannot be a, um, 
or you cannot be a disciple of Jesus. That's what your book says. I don't listen. Huh? Yeah, oh yeah, I know. See, that's why I asked y'all. Do y'all read this book? Uh, do y'all read this book? Hold on, sister. I'll show you. I, I ain't gonna lie to you, sister. Remember, I told you this is the shit that I woke. This is the shit that woke me up. Listen, a lot of y'all believers ain't never heard this because y'all don't read that book. Y'all don't read that book. Y'all just go off of what the preacher preaches every Sunday. The preacher don't preach all this fuck shit that's in this book. It's a lot of I fuck shit. Really be listening to the preacher. It's a lot of fuck shit that's I, in this book. I really go off my experience. I'm about to show you, sis. But see me destroyed. So what? So hell. so what? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Especially when your Bible tells you to love your enemy. Your Bible says, your Bible says, in one breath, your Bible says to love your enemy, and the devil is your enemy, but you don't love the devil, but he's your enemy. The Bible says, love your enemy. How do we get into heaven? How do I get into heaven? You see these contradictions? You see how a human wrote this book? Ain't no God write this shit. You see how a human is making these mistakes? Really, I don't ain't no God, ain't no God that's perfect, right? Making no mistakes like this. You ever thought about it like this? What if, what if, like I said before, like when I first said what I said, like God is a spirit. Like what if he can't speak to us like that? Like he has to speak. In what do you way? mean he can't do nothing? Wait a minute. God can. A wait a minute, wait a minute. God can do anything but fail right you ever heard that before right. what are you talking about he can't because he's a spirit <laughs> what either way <laughs> like that you just be forgetting what i go back to though like if we didn't create ourselves like there is a creator over us like prove that you can, no, no, no 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 prove that prove go, prove that to me Jesus. prove that to me Prove that to me. Okay. Are, are you telling prove, me something prove. you think or are you telling me something you believe? I mean, are prove you telling me something that's fact or you telling me? Prove we came from monkeys. Prove I not, wait a minute. I never made those claims, sis. I never I made. I, so you can't ask me to prove that. I never said that okay. shit. You well, said, you said, you said we have a creator that's over us. And I asked you. I didn't say you were right. I didn't say you were wrong. I just said, prove that. If you want me to buy it, just prove it to me. Or are you telling me okay, something so, that's fact so or can, are you telling me something you put, just believe? We can put, let's say, let's, let's put Jesus to the side. Let's say Jesus didn't exist. Let's see. Jesus ain't real. At the end of the day, like, I feel like we did not just end up here. Like the trees and the waters and all of that stuff didn't create themselves. All right. So, a I, I, okay. Right. Right. So let's go with this. Right. Now, remember, I told you creation and existence are two totally different arguments. But let's go with creation, right? Let's say you're right. Let's say you're right, right? Now, just because something was created, does that mean it still exists? Mm, just because there was a creator, does that mean... A creator created something. Does that mean the creator has to still exist? Because you just told me, you just told me there's something over us. And I asked you yeah. to prove that. How whether you, that's the, the the pink elephant you're talking about, whether he created this. Yeah, or, that's the, that's still a belief. I ain't proved to you. Ain't, I, I haven't proved I to you. I haven't proved to you that no pink elephant is on Mars. That's just what I believe. I you believe some God in the Bible wrote it, but he created us. We both just believing <laughs> right now, but neither one of us have proved anything. Whoever did all of this, that would be considered our God. That's that's who I consider. So like, so whoever. that okay, let's stop there. That would be considered the creator, right? Let's agree with that, right? Uh, I would consider him God. Uh, no, <laughs> let's let's take God out. Let's let's stick with creator because you keep saying that's, we, like that's the same thing. Okay, we, you, you keep saying creator, right? We were created, right? That's fine. We were created. Cool. Now, my question is, cool, we were created. Does that mean the creator still exists right now? Just because we were created. 
why wouldn't you? So there, you mean to tell me there's no possibilities out there that this creator could no longer exist right now? There's no possibilities out there. I don't see how not. Watch this. Watch this. So Michael Jackson made a lot of songs, right? Right. Michael Jackson was the creator of those songs, right? Okay. Those songs, those creations still exist today, right now. We can pull one up right now. I'll play one right now. But does the creator of those songs still exist? Can that nigga show up to? Can that can he show up to? No, 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 no. All we're talking about is creators and creation. That's all we're talking about. It ain't even gotta be spiritual. It ain't gotta be human. It ain't we're just talking, simply talking about creation and a creator. Just because something was created, does that mean the creator has to still exist? That's all I'm asking. I know where you're going with this. No, but... So let me ask you this. I feel like it's different. We're on a different scale. Let like, me ask you this. That's a different scale. Is it a possibility? Because this is the thing. Before you can make a claim to me that a creator still exists, but you can't prove it. You can't prove this motherfucker still exists. But before you can make a claim to me, you have to be able to rule out all other possibilities that could be out there, right? There could be possibilities that you don't even know about. For instance, yeah. for instance, let's take the creator, right? Once this creator created us, right? How do we know, is it a possibility that this creator, after it created this universe, it created our intelligent design bodies, it created nature, it created everything it was here to create. Is it a possibility that this creator could have burnt out like a light bulb and no longer exist anymore. Is that a possibility? Could that be a possibility? That could be a possibility. So we can't rule that possibility out, right? We ain't gonna rule that out. Okay. Could it be a possibility that after this creator created us, right? This creator did its job and this creator went billions and trillions and trillions and trillions in a time and no longer exists here we're just here all alone after we were created could that be a possibility is all i'm asking yeah right you but see I what i'm saying so you can't prove to me that there's still. something over us right now because there's a possibility that after we were created that creator burnt out like a light bulb and no longer exists no more we're here all alone everything this creator meant for us to have meant for us to do he wrote out our time. He wrote out our time. All of that. Anything we do in life is how our life was wrote out to be. <laughs> all I'm saying is, is that a possibility? Because you told me there's something over us right now, but you can't prove that to me. That's just something you believe. You can't prove that to me with a fact. Okay, so uh, like that creator would still be God to me. Like That's cool. Whoever he that's is, cool. Whoever he no, out, that's, that's fine. God. That's fine. All I'm saying is, my, this is what I'm trying to show you. Creation and the existence are two totally different arguments. My argument and creation. We're here. I can't tell you how we got here. You can't tell me how we got here. All I'm saying is I do not believe in the existence of any God or gods due to lack of evidence of any God or God's existence that's all i'm saying i'm not saying that we wasn't created that's not my argument all i'm saying is yeah. does he does this guy still exist because it's a lot of bullshit going on in this fucking world that this guy is sitting and watching and or or this guy seems to play favoritism because he's showing up for people with relationships and shit and he's ignoring the world he never shows up for the whole world. He's always showing up secretly, playing hide and seek and shit for people's personal, personal requests and needs. But he never shows up for the whole world. Make that shit make sense. What makes you I more better? What you said. That, see, no, I'm just showing you. These are things that woke me up. Like something's not adding up here. This guy. Seems to play favoritism. This nigga picks and chooses who he wants to help and who he don't want to help. 
Watch this. Give me one, give me one, just give me one event in time, in history, in past or present, where prayer has worked for the world positively. And we can all witness that this was God's work. Give me one event. Prayer ain't gonna never work for the world because the world do everybody in the world doing their own thing. Like it ain't gonna never work. It's all right. You still got the devil. This is the devil's world. Remember, I told you God and the devil is the same person. I told you God and the devil is the same person. <laughs> You said Jesus and the devil is the same person. Ain't God, ain't God and Jesus, ain't Jesus God's son? All I'm showing if you, you can argue that Jesus ain't real, we can do that, but No, I'm I'm God, showing you God himself. I'm showing you, I'm telling you, if you read that book, you're going to realize that God and the devil are the same. This book is a book of balance. That's what this book is. So if you go to, do you know what Isaiah 45, 7 says in the Bible? Nah, not right All right, so I'm going to tell you what it says. I'm going to read it to you. I'm finna, matter of fact, I'm going I'm to send it to you. Um, Isaiah 45, 7. Hold on one second. Let me pull it up for you. Isaiah 45, 7 says, I form the light. And I create darkness. I make peace. And I create evil. I'm going to repeat that. I make peace. And I create evil. I, the yeah. Lord, do all these things. Not I. I heard that not I, the devil, do all these things. I, the Lord, created evil. I did that. Remember I said this book is a book of balance. It's a book. God and the devil is the same person. Ask yourself this. God flooded the world, right? Mm -hmm. Why did he flood the world? He flooded the world because of evil, right? Right. Who created evil? The devil didn't create it. <laughs> Wait a minute. But God is supposed to be perfect, right? He's supposed to know all things, right? So he didn't know that when he created evil, it was going to get out of hand. Huh? Wait a minute. So that would disqualify this guy from being perfect, right? Unless he meant to do what he did, right? Now I'm going to ask you this. Maybe he wasn't thinking that far. About what? It. What? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> now, now let me ask you this. <laughs> let me ask you this. So God did this, right? He flooded the whole world, right? Because of evil, right? This is what God did, right? right? He killed innocent children. He killed innocent people. And he saved who he wanted to save, right? Now, my question is this. Why didn't he just kill the devil? That's hmm. a good question. You know why? You want to know why he didn't kill the devil? Because it would be suicide. I told you, God and the devil in that book are the same. God, The devil is God's alter ego. If he kills the devil, he kills himself. There's no need for God anymore. Because the devil's gone. <laughs> I'm trying to... I, I, yeah. I feel what you're saying. You didn't say some stuff. I ain't gonna, So I ain't let me gonna... let, let me let me tell you something else. Do you understand why religion is so powerful? Do you know why it, it exists so strong? Take a guess. You want to know how it stays alive? It stays alive because of fear. 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 Yeah. Yeah. That's the only way religion stays alive. Because of fear. You fear not going to some place you've never heard, you can't prove even exists, called a heaven. And you fear some imaginary grown up boogeyman dressed in red called a devil. And you fear going to some place called a hell that you cannot prove exists. But you fear that shit. 
What happens when you stop fearing that shit and you just live life? You just live life and you believe in you. You help humanity. You help change the world. What happens when you stop fearing that bullshit? It no longer scares you. It no longer scares you. Watch this. Watch this. I just I just want to show you some things, right? Um, guess what? I can prove to you that I have done more for this world. I have helped this world more than your God or your Jesus has ever done. You believe me? Uh, I'm sure you done done some good things. But listen, listen, no, not, listen I mean, to my words. Know. Listen to my words. Listen to my words carefully. I told you, I can prove that I have done more to help this world than your God or your Jesus or any Allah or any Jehovah or any of these 4,200 different gods. Do you believe me? <clears throat> I'm saying if you can guess what? Guess what? I can prove that you, sister, you have done more to help this world than your God or your Jesus has ever done. I can prove that. I'm sure you don't know about that. Listen to my words. Listen to my I wouldn't even say that about myself. Listen to my words. I'm listen, the key word here, sister, is prove. The key word is prove. I can't prove shit a God has done or a Jesus has done or a Jehovah has done or, or Allah has done. I can't prove none of that shit. I can believe what I want to believe, but I can't prove that shit. Remember, a belief is something that you accept to be true. It doesn't make it true just because you accept it to be true. Right? So all I'm telling okay. you is I believe in myself. I teach my children, listen, you're not going to believe in some shit outside of you that you can't even fucking prove exists more than to believe in yourself. Everything you do, you do that shit. The changes you make, watch this. Let me show you something. I'm going to give you an example, right? Let's change the world, right? You ever heard you ever heard the Michael Jackson song, Man in the Mirror, right? Yeah. All right. So this is the thing. I said, we've been praying forever, right? All of these right. generations and decades and generations and decades and generations of decades. Has evil gone anywhere? Nah. No. Damn. All that fucking... I feel like it's still always be there. I mean... What do you mean? What do you mean? You, mean? you don't... In this world. Wait a minute. You I mean you... I about like three minutes. But yeah, no, that's fine. Like in this world. Wait, wait a minute, but you mean, wait a minute, wait a minute. So you mean to tell me you don't, you don't pray to end evil? Of course. But so, so how's that working out? Ended. Wait a minute, how's that working out for you? How has that worked on out for earth, you? On earth, it never happened. Why? Wait, wait a minute. Okay, before you go. Now, now somebody's lying here then, right? Somebody's lying here, sis. Because in Mark eleven twenty four, it's... Uh, 51. 51, yes. Yeah. I bet. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I, I got I to gotta ask you this. Somebody's lying here then, right? Because you're praying, right? Now, let me read this to you. Mark eleven twenty four says, Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire when ye pray, believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them. I didn't write that. That's in your book. Wait a minute. So, so, uh, do you not believe when you pray? You, you said you pray for evil to, 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 to leave, right? Uh, do you, do you not believe? Wait a minute, wait a minute. John 14, 13. Wait a minute. John 14, 13. Says, why can't you pray for the world? It says, whatsoever ye ask. It doesn't say, it doesn't say everything but the world. It says, whatsoever, sis. Hold on. John 14, 13 also says, and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. 
Hold on, sis. It says, whatsoever ye shall ask in my name. Do you ask? Do you pray in Jesus' name? Something's not, something's not adding up here. Right. Something's not. Have to yeah, 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 yeah. I, I can't even, uh, it's all good. It's all good. If you want to, if you want to finish, I'm a, it's cool. <laughs> I'm a, um, yeah, I'm a verse, you know. Okay. It's, it's all good, man. Just hit me whenever. All right. All right, man. Yeah, it was good talking to you, though. You too. <laughs> I'll talk yeah, to you later. Yeah, you definitely broke down some stuff. I'm yeah, we'll talk, though. We'll talk. All right. Hey,